Good evening and thank you for joining us. There is a new twist in the stinking controversy over the capital region's kitchen scraps. The stench from one facility was so bad it caused public outrage and neighborhood tensions. Now the region's largest municipality is opting to go it alone, moving its composting facility to a well-known farm. Mary Griffin has more. I think we need to step back take a look at a long-term solution, go back to the way it was uh, until we can sort something out. What is being proposed today is a Band-Aid, and I'm worried that that Band-Aid is not going to stick. The debate continues at the Capital Regional District. The issue, whether or not to spend at least $200,000 for a temporary storage facility for kitchen waste at the Heartland Landfill. It concerns me to be looking at spending this kind of, of money when it probably is hopefully is really just a very short-term option. In the end, their decision is no decision until at least mid-October. Meanwhile, Saanich is going it alone. We have enough volume in Saanich uh, with our collections to, uh, to handle it. Uh, you know, there's 41,000 addresses that will be uh, contributing to this, so we felt we had enough uh, to do it ourselves, and we're still committed to making sure it's composted. The winning bidder is Mitchell Farms, with properties in central Saanich, and construction is underway of a facility that could be operating and accepting Saanich's kitchen scraps by spring. We wanted uh, a, a, a system that would be uh, friendly to neighbours and proven, and uh, it's proven within BC, so we're confident that once people got to know uh, what the Mitchell family want to do, that they would support it. Down the road, Foundation Organics license to process kitchen scraps is still under suspension by the CRD after complaints and warnings about the smell. The company is not only appealing that suspension, but is applying to increase capacity. And now the municipality of Central Saanich is suing the company for a number of infractions. But Saanich's mayor says he's confident the Mitchell proposal will succeed. And they're a long-time Peninsula family. They have a great reputation. They want to protect it. So uh, we'll wait for them to work through that process. The Mitchell family has not yet applied for a license with this CRD to operate a facility.